In this presentation, we will learn the concept of structure packing in C. So let's get started. Because of the structure padding, size of the structure becomes more than the size of the actual structure, right? This is very important for us to understand. We have learned the concept of structure padding in our previous lecture, right? The structure padding actually increases the size of the structure, right? Because it creates some empty room in order to save the processor's cycles, right? Due to this, some memory will get wasted. Due to this reason, because there are empty rooms created, that's why some memory will get wasted. For example, if we have the struct ABC and it consists of three members, character A, integer B, and character C, actual size of this structure should be six, right? That is six bytes. Because if we assume that character will take one byte of memory and integer will take four bytes, then total size will be six bytes. But the size that we are getting is 12. Because of structure padding, lot of memory is wasted. But obviously, CPU cycles will not get wasted in that case, right? On the other hand, we can use the concept of structure packing in order to avoid the wastage of memory. We can avoid the wastage of memory by simply writing this hashtag pragma pack1. Now, by simply writing this hashtag pragma pack1 top of the structure, we can save the memory. Let me tell you that hashtag pragma is a special purpose directive used to turn on or off certain features. It is used to turn on or off certain set of features. Here we are switching on this feature pack that is packing. Okay. So with the help of this hashtag pragma, we are switching this feature on, which means that the output of this program will be six bytes instead of 12 bytes. So here no padding is applied. Okay. Now, it is important for us to understand that either wastage of memory will be there or wastage of CPU cycles will be there, right? If we want to save the memory, then CPU cycles will get wasted, right? In that case, we should use the packing concept. If we don't want to waste the CPU cycles, but we are ready to waste the memory, then the padding concept is applicable. Okay, friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation.